Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to write a math proof using VS Code, Lean, and MathLib together. First of all, we need a project to play with, so I'm going to use like new to create a new project. There's a template for a MathLib dependency, so I'm going to say math new test math. And I now have a project set up using MathLib. I'm going to try and build it. Notice that it's now cloning the MathLib library and building everything. It didn't build any of MathLib yet because I haven't actually used it. Let's load that up in Visual Studio Code. Look at the test program. Make sure everything starts up correctly. Make sure it works. Everything looks good. This is using the very latest build of lean. That's not always what you want to do. If you go to the MathLib git repo, take a look at the lean toolchain. So the lean toolchain in here is using 10.9. So if I get that version of MathLib, today's version, from the master branch, I really should be using 10.9. This will prompt for restart. And then I'm going to import some things from MathLib, like this one. When that happens, it starts building some MathLib code. And hopefully everything goes well. I'll load the output window where I can look at the lean editor output as well, just in case. If something goes wrong there, we'll see an error message. We can also go to the terminal window and run lake build just to make sure this is good. And looks like everything's hunky dory. I'm going to bring in one more import. See what that does. And now I'm ready to start my proof. So in MathLib, they've defined the keyword lemma. I also have uh, GitHub Copilot turned on here. And I'm going to show you the usefulness of GitHub Copilot as well in this video. So I'm going to prove that and distributes over or in an if and only if equivalence. And I'm going to show you how to use the info view. By the way, by GitHub Copilot, I mean this thing, which is an AI assistant, which is trained on all of the GitHub code out there, including a whole bunch of Lean 3 code, which might or might not help me with this proof. First thing we can see in the info view is that we have a goal. This little Unicode character means goal, and the goal essentially just repeats everything you see right here. That's the thing I have to prove. Now, I'm going to use tactic proofs, which is what the by keyword means. Without the by keyword, I wouldn't be able to use tactics. And I'm going to figure out how to break this down into parts. The first tactic that's useful here is the constructor tactic that knows how to break the if and only if part of the proof into two sub goals. There's the left implication and the, and the right implication. See how these are flipped. So I have to prove this implication first and that implication second. When you have an implies, you can turn that into a hypothesis using intro. So it broke the implication into a hypothesis, the left-hand side, because an implication means if this left-hand side is true, then this must be true. Well, that means that this part is now a hypothesis. You can see now how the tactic state here is useful. It's showing me what I have to play with. The next tactic I'm going to use is called cases, because I'm going to uh, break H, uh, because this is an and, P and Q. I can break it down into, I want variables for H, P, and H, Q. So I now have broken the P and Q or R into two new hypotheses. P must be true. So I now have a proof that P is true, basically a hypothesis. And this must be true. So that's that was useful. It broke those into smaller pieces. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, or in H, Q, R. I'm going to break that into hypotheses. This time, the way an or breaks is into its two cases. So Q or R breaks into either Q is true, and I can proceed with the proof on that assumption, or 
r is true, and I can proceed with this part of the proof depending on you know whether r is true. Well, if q is true, then I can start to break down this goal here. There's a tactic called left, which will take the left part of the or. You can see that um, GitHub Copilot is trying to help me, but it's not really useful yet. Split actually won't work here, so I'm going to ignore that. But you can see that it's uh, extracted the the left-hand side of that or. To break an and, you use constructor like I did at the top. So I now have two sub-goals, P and Q. But notice that I have hypotheses for P, and I have a hypothesis for Q already. So I can say P is true because of HP, using exact, and Q is true because of H. Uh, because of HQ. Great, so the first part of my proof says the goals are accomplished, but I'm not done yet. You can see that this still says that there's unsolved goals. That's because I haven't finished yet. Now with this one, I want to take the right-hand side of this OR. Oops. And now, look, Copilot is helping me, so it's sort of learned from what I've done so far. Exact HP, exact HR. Great. So I'm still not done. This is only half of the proof. I've, I've proved the first implication. I've proved that this implies that. But now I have to do the reverse. I have to prove that implies this. Well, there's one other thing I can show you here. When you have hypotheses that are that trivial, that exactly match what's, what the goal is, the goal is P here. Remember the top goal is the one that you're always working on. This second goal we'll get to after we've solved this goal. Another tactic here can be useful, which is assumption. Assumption sort of looks through all your hypotheses and finds the one that we need, so you don't even need to name them explicitly. And now let's see if GitHub Copilot is clever. See? That's actually useful. Now I have to do the complete reverse with another intro. This time the whole thing is flipped. What I'm proving, the implication is the opposite of what I had before. And now look what's happening with Copilot. That's actually what I want. But this time it's an OR, so this is wrong. HPQ. And I'm going to have an INR. HPR. Well, with this one, I might be able to solve it with by splitting the AND into those two pieces, uh, sorry, splitting this AND using another cases statement and doing something very similar, but the um, left and right thing is in a different order. Down here, look at that, GitHub Copilot helped me finish the entire proof. Now all the errors are gone, goals are all accomplished, and I have my proof.